Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. As you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this featherweight tilt. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. All right, now for the official Ladies introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffett. the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC and the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, get the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Lee gets hit with a kick. Able to check the high kick. Oh, and he 
he lands the front kick there. Not Anderson Silva versus Vitor Belfort, but a nice strike nonetheless. There are a lot of ways to land that strike. As you saw with Anderson, he took it up to the chin because normally it goes to the body. Look at him drive his chin into the opponent's body with that body kick. Unable to connect with the right. Head kick lands. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Nice punch lands over the top. Just over two minutes to go. Went for the inside leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Looking to land the right just out of range. Watch knees to the body. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Fifteen seconds to go. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Five minutes in the books. Well, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there. Let's go, guys. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them, guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moments to attack. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Oh, nice, nice. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. That one snuck in. Nice strike. throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you got to make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You got to get the elbow to the side, because otherwise he's going to land one that's going to shut everything down. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, that's a good right hand. Wow, what a head kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Well, he misses with the left punch there.
there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Kick to the body by Lit. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right hand upstairs. All right, round three coming up next. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you've got to really switch it up. Good corner is able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Gets touched by that kick there. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice job of hiding that hit kick. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. And they separate. And both guys really throwing with authority. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice counter shot there. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. There's no tell on that leg kick. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Ooh, what a punch. Missed with that right hand. Beautiful left hand count. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. There's the kick. It's blocked. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Big head kick land. Big leg kick lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. That round doesn't matter. We're gonna move forward with this round. Really All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Nice head kick. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee.
Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Big punch land over the top. This fight's gonna be over this season. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Just over two minutes now to go. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Knee to the body, it's blocked. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Slips. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, he's always on the counter attack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Relax, relax. Right idea, wrong execution. No good on the left punch count. All right, well, that was a crazy round. I don't know if we should lob the chin of his opponent or give him the credit for landing head kick after head kick. When the head kicks land this often on the video game, it's because player one understands the game much better than player two. Tell your friend how to play the game, teach him how to block, or teach him how to throw the head kick too. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right. I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Throws the right hand there. Good punch. Got clipped with the right hand. It's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Under three minutes to decide this one. Caught that. Now, there's danger in that, too, because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. 
big kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Such a fast leg kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. We need that takedown. Caught the kick. Head kick. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Visibly limping here. The final horn sounds! All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. See how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.